welcome parents, family, friends, and class of 2010. Before we begin this evening, I'd like to ask that you please turn off your cell phones and pagers. I'd also like you to be aware of our fire exits at the back, at the back entrances and on the sides. Thank 
dedication to just to see us achieve success. They were always there to explain when we didn't understand and to praise us when we did. They are a primary reason of why we were able to accomplish as much as we have to be here tonight. But above all, I would like to thank our parents. Think of all the time they have taken out of their busy schedule to provide us with assistance and support. I don't know about you, but sometimes I take advantage of this. So now, I would like to take this time to thank my family for, give, for never giving up on me, supporting my every move, and most of all, their unconditional love. And yes, thank you fellow 8th graders for making these middle school years so enjoyable. I've had a blast with you guys and hope that we are all very successful in our high school careers.
from some class. The journey through the middle school started out a little rocky, but ended marvelously. When we entered middle school, we didn't know what to expect. What we found was that we definitely have a lot of adapting to do. Not only did we have to change classrooms, but we had lots of combinations to remember. The lockers were definitely a big change. Another change was our class size, increasing from 30 students to well over 100. We met new people and formed many new friendships. Seventh grade was another story. No longer were we the youngest of the middle school, thank goodness. As we had built strong friendships, and we were also finally able to participate in school's athletic programs. By the end of the seventh grade, we were ready to leave the school. Two years of watching, and now it was finally our turn. Eighth grade was definitely the most enjoyable year. We were new, now role models for the younger classmen. We also enjoyed this because we were now pros in middle school. Yet now that it's over, we are ready to take on the challenge of high school. So bring it on. We got through middle school and we are here to help each other throughout the high school. So to all my classmates, I'm proud of yourselves. You have all done an amazing job thus far. Just remember to never forget who you are. Don't let the world of high school change you. Stay true to yourself and you will all do great things. To the future graduating class of 2010, congratulations. We've made it. Have a great summer, and I hope to see you all next year. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As my fellow classmates and I sit before you, we reflect about our middle school years and anticipate the years to come. For some of us, we are one year closer to where we want to be. When I entered the sixth grade, I didn't know what to expect. Thankfully, though, the great teachers helped make a smooth transition from being the top dogs at elementary school to becoming the little ones at the middle school. New friendships developed over that year, and many still last today. The highlight of my first year in middle school was Lake Clear. The four days there was an experience that I will never forget. When the seventh grade year began, we had to be more responsible. We weren't to love sixth graders anymore. Our class was now allowed to participate in sports, and we now need to set examples for the younger ones. The seventh grade teachers successfully prepared us for the eighth grade. Reflecting on this year in the eighth grade, one thing sticks out in my mind, tests. We took so many state tests this year that I'm glad I had the summer to recover. We wouldn't have passed all those difficult tests if it wasn't for the hardworking eighth grade teachers that prepared us for everything. The middle school years have been a wonderful learning experience for me, and I'm sure my classmates as well. We all have had so many challenges to face, some good, some bad. The middle school is self prepared for will come in September because then once again we will be the little ones. Hopefully our experience in the middle school has taught us that what lies behind us and what lies in front of us is not as important as, as what lies within us. We all must remember to stay true to ourselves no matter who or what may influence us. So to my classmates I congratulate you and to my teachers I thank you. NCCS has been a lot of things. It's been fun and it's been not so fun. It's been exciting and it's been not so exciting. We got to listen to SOP going a cappella and to Mr. Mulligan going a cappella. I won't tell you that every day at school is great, but overall, it's not that bad. We met a lot of new friends and we might have accidentally learned a few things along the way. Most of the teachers tried to make a disgusting thought that you might actually learn something and make their period as painless as possible. But then again, other teachers tried to draw out every period so long that you thought your clothes would be out of style when you walked out. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the most exciting part of school was always gym class, just because I got to throw things at people and run around in circles. <laughs> I also enjoyed technolo technology, because I got to use power tools, which made me feel dangerous. <laughs> My third favorite class would have to be study out, but only because the teacher would usually give me a pass to go to the gym. At a school, there were extra programs to keep the students occupied, like sports and clubs. Most of the students found their way into at least one of these programs. There were also field trips. In sixth grade, there was a trip to Washington, D.C., which was fun. In seventh grade, there was a Fort Ticonderoga field trip, which was probably the most boring experience in my entire life. <laughs> And on top of that, 
I had to write an essay about how I learned so much about it. That one was hard on the scrounge up. <laughs> In eighth grade, we went to a great escape, which is pretty sweet. The worst part of middle school would have to be the state test. For anyone who hasn't taken one, the closest thing I can think of is being tied up in a room with the same movie starring Shaquille O'Neal playing over and over again. <laughs> it's horrible, and I guess the teachers know it too, because every day before we take one, they bring in a big cart with milk and muffins on it. <laughs> I guess they're supposed to ease the tension. I'd like to give a special thanks to Mr. Rob Guerin, who is more than a teacher to me. He was a coach, an advisor, and a friend. My parents for their support, and Mr. Lindhurst Tremblay for always keeping it real. Margarita of 
zero. Perfect attendance, promoted to ninth grade. Megan Armstrong, promoted to ninth grade. Devin Ashline, middle school chorus, and this one, promoted to ninth grade. Nolan Babby, promoted to ninth grade. Tyler Babby, outstanding achievement in French, peer tutor, promoted to ninth grade. Morgan Baker, promoted to ninth grade. Tiffany Baker, promoted to ninth grade. Matthew Barkham, promoted to ninth grade. Melinda Bayshard, promoted to ninth grade. Stephanie Bayshard, promoted to ninth grade. Brett Bosley, excellence in English, outstanding participation in band, excellence in physical education, promoted to ninth grade. Ethan Bourgeois, promoted to ninth grade. Megan Boyer, excellence in mathematics, promoted to ninth grade. Rafe Brewer, guidance office assistant, promoted to ninth grade. Tia Brewer, promoted to ninth grade. Chelsea Brown, promoted to ninth grade. Ryan Cameron. Ryan Cameron, promoted to ninth grade. Mandy Castan, promoted to ninth grade. Connor Chapman, promoted to ninth grade. Amy Charbonneau, promoted to ninth grade. Andrew Clark, promoted to ninth grade. Devin Collins, promoted to ninth grade. Mandy Copeland, promoted to ninth grade. Philip Coupel, Highest average in the ELA class first period. Outstanding achievement in Spanish. Promoted to ninth grade. Daniel Covey. Most improved student in the ELA first period. Promoted to ninth grade. Sadie Cox. Excellence in health. Excellence in home and careers. Promoted to ninth grade. Jordan DiBernardo. Excellence in French. Top second period science student, promoted to ninth grade. Justin DiNatelli, peer tutor, promoted to ninth grade. Justin Diorio, promoted to ninth grade. Edward Dupre, promoted to ninth grade. Heather Dupre, promoted to ninth grade. Luke Euro, perfect attendance. Promoted to ninth grade. Benjamin Everlip, promoted to ninth grade. Mara Fibai. Excellence in physical education, middle school chorus, promoted to ninth grade. Jacqueline Fails, middle school chorus, perfect attendance, promoted to ninth grade. Matthew Fobert, middle school chorus, promoted to ninth grade. Jessica Favreau, excellence in English, peer tutor, top science student in period three, promoted to ninth grade. Eric Fernald, Promoted to ninth grade. Mark Fuster. Promoted to ninth grade. Courtney Forky. Promoted to ninth grade. Brianna Fosier. Peer tutor. Promoted to ninth grade. Mary Frankie. Peer tutor. Excellence in home and career skills, excellence in physical education, promoted to ninth grade. Megan Friends, promoted to ninth grade. Brandon Garrett, promoted to ninth grade. 
Stephanie Garrett, promoted to ninth grade. James Gillis, promoted to ninth grade. Ashley Boyette, peer tutor, excellence in health, excellence in French, top science student in ninth period, promoted to ninth grade. Cody Graves, promoted to ninth grade. Randy Grimshaw, excellence in Spanish 1B, peer tutor, outstanding achievement in social studies, excellence in American history, excellence in English, excellence in home career skills, top science student period eight, promoted to ninth grade. Catherine Grobine, outstanding achievement in band, lessons, NISMO, all county, promoted to ninth grade. Joshua Guerin, guidance office assistant, promoted to ninth grade. Rachel Guerin, peer tutor, promoted to ninth grade. Frederick Hapgood, excellence in mathematics, perfect attendance, Promoted to ninth grade. Joshua Harvey. Promoted to ninth grade. Dustin Hemingway, most improved student in ELA first period. Promoted to ninth grade. Joshua Hicks. Promoted to ninth grade. Michelle Hull. Excellence in French. Promoted to ninth grade. Tyler Jarvis. Promoted to ninth grade. Tanner Jubert. Outstanding achievement in chorus in this month. Promoted to ninth grade. Riley Cavanaugh, promoted to ninth grade. Taylor Kelsey, peer tutor, promoted to ninth grade. Kyle Perry, outstanding achievement in physical education, peer tutor, promoted to ninth grade. Bruce Kimball, promoted to ninth grade. David King, peer tutor, promoted to ninth grade. Sarah Kirby, promoted to ninth grade. Kayla Labarge, promoted to ninth grade. Tyler LaDuke, promoted to ninth grade. Brianna LaFay, promoted to ninth grade. Caitlin LaFountain, promoted to ninth grade. Ashley Lamberton, Ashley Leverton, promoted to ninth grade. Brandon Lemire, excellence in physical education, promoted to ninth grade. Tasha LaPan, promoted to ninth grade. Hannah Laporte, promoted to ninth grade. Justin Larson, promoted to ninth grade. Sean LaValley, promoted to ninth grade. Kaylin LaDuke, promoted to ninth grade.
Jennifer Lepore, promoted to ninth grade. Eric Linkowski, promoted to ninth grade. David Locke, promoted to ninth grade. Sandy Locke, promoted to ninth grade. Aisha Loy, Excellence in Physical Education, promoted to ninth grade. Jordan Mannings, promoted to ninth grade. Casey Manor, promoted to ninth grade. Robert Manor, promoted to ninth grade. Kevin Martin, promoted to ninth grade. Casey Martineau, promoted to ninth grade. Ashley Martinez, promoted to ninth grade. George McChesney, promoted to ninth grade. Amanda McAlfresh, promoted to ninth grade. Chelsea McGibbon, peer tutor, promoted to ninth grade. Jonathan McGoldrick, promoted to ninth grade. Jamie Delia, excellence in mathematics, outstanding achievements in English, promoted to ninth grade. Alyssa Pinar, middle school course, promoted to ninth grade. Jeremy Misa, promoted to ninth grade. Casey Miller, promoted to ninth grade. Jennifer Manette, promoted to ninth grade. Caitlin Morgan, promoted to ninth grade. Brittany Neverett, promoted to ninth grade. Caitlin Neverett. Promoted to ninth grade. Brittany Noble. Promoted to ninth grade. Joshua O'Connor. Promoted to ninth grade. Taylor Andres. Promoted to ninth grade. Daniel Wormsby, promoted to ninth grade. The end we met, promoted to ninth grade. Marissa Parent Woodward, promoted to ninth grade. Jonathan Parker, promoted to ninth grade. Kelly Pavelitis, excellence in health, excellence in math, promoted to ninth grade. Matthew Pavelitis, 
Excellence in American History, promoted to ninth grade. Amanda Peace, a promoted to ninth grade. Joshua Finuff, Excellence in American History, promoted to ninth grade. Chadwick Fichet, promoted to ninth grade. Jacqueline Puck, Outstanding Achievement in Physical Achievement, promoted to ninth grade. Devin Poisson, Excellence in Physical Education, promoted to ninth grade. Alyssa Ravenu, Outstanding Achievement in French, Peer Tutor, Cumulative Average Honor Student. Promoted to ninth grade. Ivory Racine, top science student, period five, grade eight physical science, top student, excellence in American history, middle school course, excellence in home and career skills. Promoted to ninth grade. Erica Rayo, excellence in French. Peer tutor, promoted to ninth grade. Jason Reinhardt, promoted to ninth grade. Shad Reinhardt, excellence in physical education, promoted to ninth grade. Randy Rivers, promoted to ninth grade. Zachary Robert, promoted to ninth grade. Jordan Rochester, promoted to ninth grade. Jordan Trombley, 
quote it tonight to pray. Nicholas Vandermeer, excellence in French, promoted tonight to pray. Elizabeth Vincelet, excellence in math, excellence in French, excellence in English, promoted tonight to pray. Garrett Watson, Excellence in American History, promoted to ninth grade. Austin Rye, Perfect Attendance, promoted to ninth grade. Comptroller, and it's given to a young man or woman who has shown academic excellence 
and the potential for leadership through involvement in activities that improve the community. Our award recipient is a student who has devoted a significant amount of time to helping his school community. The award reads, in recognition of hard work, dedication, and success, I do hereby proudly recognize the academic excellence and civic commitment of Brett Bosley. The next award is the Principal's Award, and it's given to a middle school student who has contributed in a special way to their school community or community beyond. This student best exemplifies the spirit of what it is to be an NCCF Cougar. This student demonstrates Cougar pride and is a shining star among her peers. The 8th grade Principal's Award goes to a student who has been a support for many students in the middle school this year. She always thinks of others before herself. She is hardworking and dedicated. Her teachers say this about her. It is with great pleasure that I recommend this young lady for the Principal Award. She is friendly, helpful, talkative, and I can attest to that. Giving, grateful, and funny. Congratulations to the 2006 8th Grade Principals Award recipient, Miss Leanne Lomette.
You take with you many fond memories and accomplishments of elementary and middle school. Life is a journey, and the end of one part is always the beginning of another. In September, you will move forward and be faced with new opportunities, challenges, and changes. Change is about finding your place in a new place. High school is a chance to start anew. In high school, you will broaden your experiences and make more memories. You will be asked to apply the knowledge that you have acquired in elementary and middle school. Work hard to make your high school experiences all positive. Become involved in, that, in the activities at the high school, whether it's in sports, clubs, or in your community. You will meet new friends and enjoy some of the best times of your life. High school is what you make of it. Strive for academic excellence and contribute to making the world a better place. Reach out to others. Look beyond outward, experience, outward appearances. As Martha Mead put it, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it's the only thing that ever has. Expand your minds and show compassion for others. Compassion is taking the time to visit people in hospitals, spending time with a grandparent or an elderly person, visiting a gravesite, washing a friend's car, wishing a friend well, listening to a stranger, listening to a story you've heard a thousand times before, one more time, giving to the poor, giving to charity, and giving of yourself and your time charitable. One of my favorite quotes from the book, Simple Truths, tells us, place yourself among those who carry on their lives with passion and true learning. True learning will take place, no matter how humble the setting. But no matter what path you follow, do not be ashamed of your learning. In some corner of your life, you will know more about something than anyone else on earth. The true measure of your education is not what you know, but how you share what you know with others. I heard a coach say one time, that on our tombstone, we will have a beginning date, a dash, and our final date. The beginning date and final date are very important. However, the most important part is what we've done with the dash. What did we do with our life? What did we accomplish in between the beginning and ending dates? As Taylor put it, every day affords us a new canvas. Each of us is a work of art, but we are a work in process as well. Class of 2010, you now have a blank canvas. Go out and fill the world with masterpieces. Congratulations, we're very proud of you. Thank you for the middle school lobby for refreshing.